Hi everyone, welcome to another video about um, absorption costing and marginal costing um, income statements. So in previous video we started looking at um, how we can prepare um, income statement using absorption costing method. So we have um, the following information. We have um, a monthly basis we call we we trying to collect we we trying to make an income statement on based on monthly data so we have um the following information for uh, available for month september 2019 we need to produce income statements for october 2019 so we have the following information selling price 30 prime cost eight pounds four pounds variable manufacturing overhead uh, budgeted fixed production costs or fixed uh, manufacturing overheads 80,000 we have quantity uh, produced budgeted production 20,000 um, quantity sold 16,000 and uh, opening inventory or beginning inventory 1,000 selling administrative expenses we have three pounds so in previous video we calculated production cost per unit you, um, uh, based on two methods so um, uh, absorption costing method we calculated um, production cost per unit looking at variable and fixed costs so we looked at prime cost prime cost uh, which includes um, direct labor and direct materials so eight pounds plus four uh, variable manufacturing overhead and also we, we calculated the share of the month of uh, the share of uh, or saying uh, fixed manufacturing overhead pay unit so 80,000 for the month divided by quantity produced 20,000 so in this case total we got production cost pay unit total 16 pounds marginal costing method we ignore um, um, fixed manufacturing overhead when we calculate production costs, we treat fixed um, manufacturing overhead as a period expenses. In this case, not included here. Here, what we have just variable costs. We have eight prime costs plus four variable manufacturing overhead. So previous video, we did the income statement based on absorption costing method. Now we're going to do income statement using um, a marginal costing method. We start with sales. Sales same is going to be 16,000 units, and we have the price um, 30. So we have here so 30 times 16,000, you get me same 480,000. We say less variable expenses. We have beginning inventory, beginning inventory, we have thousand units times um, the cost production cost per unit which is 12 which is different from absorption costing method so we have thousand units times 12 we need to add cost of manufactured goods we have we produced um, 20,000 units times 12 that would get me so 20,000 times 12 they get me 240,000 uh, goods available for sale um, includes beginning inventory plus cost of goods manufactured you get me a total of 252,000 we need to also here calculate ending inventory calculation for ending inventory as a quantity is going to be the same 20,000 units produced plus 1,000 beginning opening inventory minus 16,000 um, we have a quantity sold so that would get me 5,000 units as an ending inventory quantity times production cost per unit at 12 so in this case let's calculate that so we have 20,000 plus 
thousand minus sixteen thousand times twelve. That would get me ending inventory to um, sixty thousand. We need we we see the difference ending inventory on uh, using absorption costing method was eighty thousand. Uh, using marginal costing method is sixty thousand. Now we have goods available for sale two hundred and twenty five thousand. We have um, a minus. We need to deduct ending inventory because we didn't sell these goods. We have sixty thousand units. That will get me variable cost of goods sold. 192,000 what we need to do also we need to add to that variable selling and administrative expenses we have we sold 16,000 yeah 16,000 units and we have um, selling administrative expenses we have a three pounds so that would be times three so this will get me so sixteen thousand times three will get me forty eight thousand. Now we need to add that up. So a hundred and ninety two thousand plus forty eight thousand to get me two hundred and forty thousand. Now we have the contribution margin. Contribution margin we have sales minus variable expenses, uh, two hundred and forty thousand. So that will get me uh, four hundred and eighty thousand minus two hundred and um, uh, forty thousand. So that will get me two hundred and forty thousand. We have. Um, less fixed expenses we have manufacturing overhead as we didn't include that in production cost on a contrary of um, absorption costing method so we need to treat it as a period expenses so in this case we just need to get that which is 80,000 now we have we don't have any uh, fixed selling administrative expenses so in this case we have the contribution margin minus um, uh, fixed expenses, uh, which is manif uh, fixed manufacturing overhead, we get me total income, net income of um, 160,000. So 240,000 minus 80,000 will get me um, 160,000. So from this, we can see net income using marginal costing method is different from. Um, um, net income using absorption costing method we need to also look at differences between the two we can see how we have the format for income statement um, using marginal costing method is different from the income statement format of using um, absorption costing method we have also differences in terms of uh, income, net income, and absorption um, um, costing method 167,000, 176,000, and net income using marginal costing, costing method is 160,000. So, maybe in another video, we're looking at consolidation, we're looking at why we have the expense, the differences between the two in relation to net income. But we can see that uh, we have differences in relation to calculating beginning inventory, um, cost, of, uh, cost of manufactured uh, goods, and also in terms of costing the ending inventory. So these, um, I would say, in relation to the difference between why net income is different in each method. So. I would say thank you for listening and um, hope you see other videos. Thank you.